In this episode, we take you to Bali, go on a professional photo shoot, and get barreled in the gnarly surf, man. My name is Bertie. My name is Darcy. And this is Indonesia from below. Bali, Island of Gods. Land of sea, surf, and scented candles. And the next destination for my underwater exploration. Just 30 minutes off the coast of mainland Bali lies the idyllic little island of Lombongan, one of the few places that offers great oceanic activities, both above and below the water. Today I am on the beautiful island of Lombongan and I'm very fortunate because I have been joined by former professional surfer turned marine conservationist Darcy Ludan and we are on an assignment for Easy Dive magazine today. So the goal first of all is we need to get shots of you diving. Diving. Yeah and then afterwards shots of you Surfing. doing your thing in the surf right? That's right. Okay let's get in the water. My name is Darcy Niu Dan, and I was the first professional Chinese surfer. Recently, I just passed as a dive master. Since then, I fell in love with the ocean, and uh, now I am very into ocean conservation. I wanted to send more awareness to Chinese people and to people from all over the world to care about our ocean, care about our earth. In order to get a nice complement of images, we're off to a mixture of sites around the island. First stop, an underwater art installation. Set down a number of years ago, the Buddha statues and stupas are not an ancient sacred site, rather an interesting art exhibit. Over time, Coral has encrusted on the man-made structures, creating an unusual artificial reef. With a strong current and lots of particles, it's important to shoot wide and get in nice and close to your subject. Eye contact between the statue and model creates a sense of intimacy between your subjects. Really tough conditions out there. It's very surgy, terrible visibility, so I had to get really close to my subject. I think we might have got something. Anyway, next dive site. Next up, one of the most famous sites in the area, Crystal Bay. With gorgeous neon colored coral and healthy reefs, I'm sure to get some great shots. Now, on land, wide-angle lenses aren't the first choice for portraits. But with even lighting, an interesting angle, and a beautiful backdrop, underwater shots of models can look great. So Darcy, well done. Not easy down there. Definitely not easy at all. A freezing cold. I know. Hopefully that gives you an insight into how difficult underwater photography can be. You're trying to sure. control so many variables, You've got your beautiful model, you've got all the sea life to worry about, you've got your air consumption, your buoyancy, all of these things, as well as your, your camera and your settings, two strobes on top. Really, really difficult, but I think we got something. I think so. One more shoot to go. With zero surf photography experience to date, I'm having to learn fast. Positioning is everything. Trying to predict where she will and won't be, whilst dodging the barreling waves is really tough. 
So when in doubt, stage a few shots behind the brake. It's important to use a very fast shutter speed to freeze your subject as she flies past your head. Getting so close to a surfer can be unnerving, but thankfully, Darcy's a pro. Darcy, that was so much fun. I know, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed my first ever surf shoot. I know, and actually I didn't kill you with my board. Uh, no, you were very, very controlled down there. How was the surf? Nice? It was fun. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, that's quite, uh, it's quite a new set of challenges. Yes. Obviously, when you're taking pictures of fish, you don't have to worry about being pummeled on the head by waves the whole time. So, new set of skills learned. Darcy had a great time surfing. I hopefully got some photos. A Nailed successful it. day. <laughs> Lovely little Lombongan offers a lot from a very small base. From surfing to diving, here it's possible to get your daily dose of vitamin C, both above and below the waves. And now fingers crossed, my pictures make the cut. <laughs>